us to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So in this episode, we continue looking at the November 2022 Mathematics Paper 2. So in the first five episodes, we covered the question 1 through 5. So let us move straight to question 6. So let us look at question 6a. Evaluate the integral of open bracket 2 plus 2x plus 6x square closed bracket with respect to um, dx then over the interval negative 1 to a uh, positive 4. So if you look at this question basically this question is from basically calculus the topic is integration. Then uh, question B find the equation of the normal to the curve y is equal to x square minus 3x minus 4 at the point uh, 2 comma negative 6. Again uh, this uh, question is from calculus. So uh, let us basically answer these two questions to get the optimal 60 max. So if m, so when the question asks us to evaluate what is basically telling us is to, to find the answer. Meaning uh, we can find the simple term being expressed by this function. So in this case we are required to integrate. So if you look at the function in the brackets it's in basically the form general form of y is equal to basically x to the power n. This is in the general form. So to integrate this function we can use the power law of integration. So the power law states that if you have a function of this form x to the power n then we are integrating with respect to uh, x which is in this case we are saying dx which is changing x. When we integrate this one is going to give us uh, x to the power n plus 1 this is the new power then we divide the whole thing by the new power then plus a constant. This is the case for indefinite integral meaning you are not given the clear cut interval. Then if that's the case what you do is you are going to add the constant. So once you are given the range within which you need to find the value this constant cancel because as we are finding the differences it will drop out. So in this case we just need to use uh, this principle. So based on that what we can do now we can start uh, integrating. So what we have is in the bracket 2 plus 2x plus 6x square then with respect to x. So it's a same principle Remember the interval is negative 1 to uh, 4. So we start with the first one. This one what it tells us is the same as basically 4 then we have negative 1 here. Then this is the same as 2x to the power 0. That's the way it is. Then plus in. Then we have 2x to the power 1 then plus in. Then 6x square with respect to x. That's change. So integrating with respect to x. So this dx means the change in x. So having done that, then this is much more easier to implement uh, this principle. So what happens in this case? To this power we are adding a 1. So it will be 0 plus 1. It will be 1. Then this one we divide into that or thing. So what we are going to have is basically 2x to the power 1 over 0 plus 1 which is basically this. That's how it will be. Then next we come to this part then it will be basically 2x 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1. Then plus then we come to this which will be basically 6x square plus 1 over 2 plus 1. Then we need to find the evaluate this 
within this interval what is this interval this interval is the one that we're given there then once you do that what you do is basically in the simplified form this is nothing but a 1 then 1 into anything is that thing then it will be x to the power 1 so it will be 2x then plus then we come to this this are uh, all thing this one becomes a 2 this becomes a 2 2 into a 2 is basically a 1 1 multiplied by x is x to the power this new 2 which is x squared then plus then we have basically this is a 3 then this is also a 3 3 into 6 is a 2 so we are going to have 2x then to the power 3 then we need to evaluate this over the interval negative 1 to 4 this is what we need to evaluate once we do that basically we move to the next step what's the next step we substitute the values now so we need to substitute the values we start with this one then we subtract it when we substitute for this one so let me go to a new page so we are going to have basically 2x plus uh, basically what we have is x square then plus basically 2x to the power 3 this is what basically we have here so once you have that basically next thing is now substituting these values okay substitute these values so that we are on the same page so we are going to have 2 then we substitute 4 which is this form then plus then 4 we square it whatever there is x we put a 4 here then plus 2 multiplied by uh, basically 4 to the power 3 then minus so now we have minus so i'm going to use a different color so that you, you see the difference so now whenever we have x here we are going to put this negative 1 so it will be 2 multiplied by negative 1 then plus negative 1 square then plus basically 2 multiplied by this negative 1 uh, cubic like that then we can go on to simplify this is 8 then plus 16 then plus uh, 4 times 4 16 times 4 64 times 2 so we're going to have 2 times 64 then minus we're going to have negative 2 then plus 1 then minus uh, basically 2 remember this negative 1 times negative 1 is a positive 1 times negative 1 is a negative 1 times this 2 is negative 2 then negative 1 square is a positive 1 then this is a negative 2 then 16 plus 8 is 24 then plus 120 8 then minus what we have now in this case when we add this we are going to end up with basically minus negative 3 then when we add these two once we add these two we are going to end up with basically uh, 24 plus 128 so this one this side is basically 152 then negative times negative is basically positive so 3 then we are going to end up with 155 as our answer so basically this is how you answer uh, this uh, question let us look at question b find the equation of the normal to the curve y is equal to x square minus 3x minus 4 at the point 2 comma negative 6 so this is the point then what does the question requires us to do is to find basically an equation which is normal to the curve this is the curve so when you're talking about the normal equation or the normal line we are talking about the line that is perpendicular to the tangent line at the point of tangents so basically if you have a curve like that and you draw a tangent line like that then at this point of tangents we have this a perpendicular line this is the normal we are talking about 
So now how do we find this? We know that um, the generic equation for this uh, straight line is m multiplied by x plus c. So what we need to do is basically to find the value of m and the value of c. Once we do that, uh, basically we are good to go given that y is basically this curve which is basically this one. So the first thing that we need to do for last to answer this question is to find the slope of this curve at this point, the point of tangents. Once we do that, we can use this principle that uh, m1 multiplied by m2 must equal to negative 1 because the slope of the curve will be equal to the slope of this uh, tangent line. And the tangent line is meeting the normal at perpendicular ends this principal odds. So this is going to help us to find the M. Then once we know M, we can easily find C by substituting these two points. Then we'll be able to find the value of C. Once we do that, we are good to go. So that's what we want to do. So first step is let us differentiate this curve. We need to find the Y, the X, which is the opposite of integration. So as we notice this one is what we are doing is we were adding the power to the power we had the one then we divide by the new power. So to differentiate basically we do the opposite which is basically in this case now what you notice is this one is the same as y is equal to x square then minus 3x then minus 4x to the power 0. Because anything less to the power 0 is a 1. 1 times negative 4 is a negative 4. So it's that principle that we have. So what we do is in this case now we have y is equal to x to the power n. So to find the y, the x, what we do is basically is n multiplied by x to the power n minus 1. This is what we do. So let us use this principle. So we are going to have a 2 multiplied by basically 2 minus 1. Then... The next term it will be basically minus, uh, it will be 3, then this is 1, so it will be 3 times 1, which is 1, then we have x, 1 minus 1. Then next, I'm going to use the black one so that you see the difference, so it will be basically 4 multiplied by 0, which is this power, then we're going to have x, 0, minus 1 as the power. Then what you notice in this case here, this is nothing but basically 2x, then minus 1 times negative 3 is a minus, then uh, it will be minus 3, then this is 0, x to the power 0 is 1, 1 times 3 is just a 3, then because here there is a 0, then everything here becomes 0, so we end up with that. Now, this one is basically the same as the gradient of m1, which is basically equal to dy dx. Now, because we are given this point, we can find the value here, not this expression, by substituting the value of x at the point of tangents. Then it will be 2, then multiply by, what's the value of x? Here is basically 2. So 2, then minus 3. Then we are going to end up with 2 times 2 is a 4, minus 3, so it will be basically a 1. So this tells us that m1 is basically 1. So if m1 is 1, we can do here is basically substitute to find m2, so it will be basically 1 multiplied by m2 is equal to basically negative 1. Then what we know is m2 is equal to negative 1 because 1 times anything is that thing. So this m2 is this m we are looking for, which is the gradient of the normal. Because the gradient of the first line, which is a tangent to the normal, is m1. Then of the perpendicular to the tangent is m2. So this m2 is basically the negative 1. So once we know what m2 here, it's a matter of getting this equation. Then we come, let me create space here so that you see clearly. So it will be now y is equal to, what is it? this m is negative 1, so it will be negative 1 multiplied by x, then plus c. So we have y is equal to basically negative x plus c. 
as in the generic equation. But we know the value of x and the value of y. So we can just substitute there. So the value of y is negative 6 is equal to basically negative x then plus c. Remember we are looking for c. We already know the value of m. So once we find the value of c, we are good to go. So what is the value of x? The value of x here is basically 2. So what we do is basically wherever there is a x, we put a 2 there so that so we have 2 here because this 2 is positive. Then what we do is we have negative 6. The moment this negative 2 closes the equal sign, it becomes a positive. So it becomes positive 2 is equal to c. So c equals basically negative 4. So once we know the value of c, then we can write this equation. So this equation now becomes y is equal to basically negative x minus 4 because c is a negative. So this equation is the equation which is normal to this uh, curve. So basically this is how you answer this question to get uh, these three marks and the other three marks to get the six marks in total. You might uh, notice that I've taken a little bit longer because my goal is to help you understand, not memorize, so that once you see a question similar to this, it's your time to shine as your exams. So please join me in the next episode as I look at question 7. Thank you viewers for watching uh, this uh, episode. If you find this uh, video to be very helpful, please consider liking, sharing, and if you are new to this channel, subscribe to our channel. Once you go to our channel, we will discover that we've got uh, so much content for you. You will notice that we've got uh, mathematics, uh, physics, and chemistry. We've also got a section that is uh, arranged by topics. You could be uh, finding challenges with a specific topic. This is the best section for you.